I'm Margaret Higgins Singer. Singer. I was born in upstate New York in a town called Corning. Um, Dad made tombstones for the conservative Irish in Corning, but soon after they heard him talking about his socialist views, things got really hard financially. Mom was sick with tuberculosis, which of course made things harder and dad had a hard time making enough for all 11 of us kids on his own. I wanted to be a doctor, but that was becoming harder and harder for women to do, so I became a nurse. When I was finishing school, I met William. He swept me off my feet, so of course we got married. Um, not long after marrying, we found ourselves in New York City, living the dream. We had some very important party guests. Um, including once Emma Goldman. By the time things settled, we had three children and Bill found some limitations as an active socialist. So I went back to work as a nurse. I mostly just helped pregnant women, but I also run in the, into some very poor women who have had unsanitary abortions and women who know nothing about birth control or even their bodies, um, which causes them to have children a lot, <laughs> um, resulting in falling further and further into poverty, um, much like my own mother. Because of this, I write a column every week in the socialist newspaper called What Every Girl Should Know. Some people are so kind and write saying how they love it, others not so much. Because of them, the U.S. Post Office has refused to transport the paper unless they remove my, remove my column. Things like this are what remind me why I joined the IWW. In the textile strike and helping those children in the train, I know I did what was right. Bill was becoming upset about the new social group I was hanging out with ever since the strike. He's certainly jealous of the Bohemians, and he calls the village a hellhole of free love and prostitution. I'm a little worried that he's caught wind of my relationship with Walter.